Welcome again, guys, to the United Unbiased Show. And this weekend, we have a wonderful weekend. The Europa and the Champions League draw. We're going to look at the games. And what I'd love for you to do is just, what do you think is the big draw of the round? Which team do you think? Of the, of the Europa? Yeah, for you, after you, uh, not Europe. Right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to answer that question in like two minutes. All right, for me personally, I don't really see any big battle. We, we have a, a, the probably the standout draw for me is a PSG and a Barcelona because multiple times they went at each other. I think one time PSG came back and knocked mm -hmm. Barcelona out. And all right, from a, a real bad deficit, and I think Barcelona did it once to PSG. But PSG, um, the thing about PSG and Barcelona, it is so unpredictable for PSG and Barcelona because at the moment they are not really playing well. They are not really playing well. Yeah, that's and that's just down to individual ability to get these um, teams going, and I, I don't see. I, honestly, I could not. I would say a Barcelona because a Barcelona is a better team than um, PSG, but mm -hmm. it is so unpredictable. So for me, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you my picks um, from the big games. So I would pick a Barca to beat a uh, to be, to get by a PSG in two legs. Um, Liverpool should get by. Red Bull should get by, should get by because when Red Bull is playing, they are a very good team. But there should be enough. See, see um, you're, you're saying, you're saying, um, you're saying Barcelona gonna beat Paris, right? Yeah, Barcelona should get by Paris. Yeah, they should get by Paris. Um, well, I'm, I'm a Barcelona to... fan, so I'm gonna say yes. You know, honestly, I'm, I'm not looking at the as a from a fan perspective. I'm just looking at the, the, uh, the quality players. And um, yeah, 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 that's true. When you look at the quality players too, yeah. if, if 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 Paris should have their best game and Barca have their best game, and it's done. Barca should sure. win. Yeah, Barca yeah. should win. Barca should win. And I'm thinking, I Liverpool any day. But Mark. What do you yeah. think about the Chelsea Atletico game? I think that that game going to be a cracker in. Atletico is going to win. I think so. Atletico is going to win. Even, I, mean, I, I don't uh, even know sure Chelsea cannot even win one of, one of the legs. Chelsea might end up lose both legs. Uh, and, and let me tell you. You see, as uh, uh, Simeone said, it's definitely designed for the Champions League, where is that naturally they are a tough team to play against. Chelsea yeah. is not necessarily a tough team to play against. Chelsea no. is a nice team that plays really, really nice football. But when Athletic, Atletico is a very, very hard team to play against. And um, I think Atletico is going to um is going to get by them. As you said, they probably will not win any of the probably Atletico will yeah. win one draw but, one, but Chelsea might not win any. I think uh, I think it, it, with, with this draw. With this jam looking at in front of me right now, the two tough game is Chelsea Atletico and Barcelona uh, PSG. Because with the other games, like if Bayern should lose against Lazio, that's an upset. Yeah. But if Bayern... Liverpool should lose against Red Bull, that's an upset. Yeah. And Juventus. Definitely favorite to win Porto. Yeah, the Ventus is a favorite. Dark, no, uh, Dark man, you know, Dark man and Seville game that game day. Seville is going to kick Dark man right up, bro. Listen. Yeah, Seville is going to kick Dark man right up. Hands down. I won't even get into a debate with that. Seville is going to kick them up. Yep, yep. And Real Madrid and, and Man City should. Get past yeah, the real, real much the Man City should get by. Atalanta is a good team, but bro, listen, Atalanta on any given day, listen, if Atalanta should turn up to play against Real Madrid, do not be surprised 
they get rid of yes, they can they Listen, can they can be difficult. It's not so easy that, that Atletico game that that um, Atalanta game and Real Madrid. It is not so straightforward. And personally, I think that Atalanta is going to give Real Madrid some real problems because they're not been performing well. They're going to get some real problems from Atalanta. Atalanta farm is not the best either, but if they should go out and play, bro, listen, man. They they should um they they they're going to give Real Madrid some problems. Yeah, I I think so too. I believe so. But this Atletico Chelsea game, bro. This Atletico Chelsea game, man. Come on. I I am I I, I do believe that Atletico is going to get by Chelsea. Man City should do enough. Man City should do enough to get by Borussia which in Gladbach. They should do enough to get by. No, Man City have... Man City played again. Oh, yeah. You're right, yeah. To be able to get Gladbach. But you see the thing, Man City... Bro, listen, Man City is so unpredictable. When it comes to the Champions League, they are so unpredictable. You will expect that Man City will win a game, get by, and then they'll just succumb to a small team of far less quality. And get kicked from the, the, the competition. So they have been doing that for years. So uh, I would not be surprised. Yeah, because if you go back uh, when um, Monaco has Mbappe and Falco and all those guys, they run Man different City. circles and listen, they run circles around Manchester City, bro. Yeah, and Man City, Man City team was fully loaded that season. Yeah, they run circles around them. But remember, <laughs> That 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 um that Monaco team bro, it had the Mendy who's at Manchester City now. Yeah, man. man Silva, who's at Manchester City now. Mbappe at um PSG, right? Um, and they had they had uh, um Bakayoko. Bakayoko was playing really well, and Fabino, 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 yeah. Yes, you have a and Lamar, they had, and they had, um, who's they at, had Falco. Yeah, they had Falco. Lamar was at Lamar is at um, Atletico now. And yeah, Lam Thomas Lamar. That was such a good. No, that's a strong squad, bro. Piece. Listen, and what's his name? Sabia, the, 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 the right back. It was a, it was a very very good side. And they had Bernardo Silva too, right? Yeah, Bernardo Silva was there. Bernardo yeah. Silva ran rings around Manchester and Manchester City. They ran rings around Manchester City. Yeah. So. Manchester City, they have, I, I don't know, bro, if they have this um, problem, as far as I'm concerned, where when they are favourites in the Champions League, they blunder. That's what they do. They blunder. They really blunder. When they have, um, when you have this favourite title and Manchester City, they blunder. So personally, I am seeing, let me tell you what I think and, and the players I'm thinking who are going through. All right, where I think I'm who are going through, and then oh, is a little bit 50 50. Yeah, this is my prediction. I'm thinking a PSG, yeah, a Liverpool, not no, man, not PSG. No, 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 Barcelona, it's a, it's a Barca for sure. Barca, Liverpool, Juventus, yeah. Sevilla, yeah, Atletico, yeah, City. Yeah. And Atalanta and Real Madrid, bro. I think it's toss-up, man. Honestly, I think it's a toss-up. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that Real Madrid well, I'm, has I'm, enough I'm, I'm, to, to, I'm, to I'm going to give Real Madrid... I'm going to give Real Madrid the benefit of the doubt based off name and players. Well, probably because of name and... Look at... Hey, listen, bro. They are extra lucky to have gone through. Well, Real Madrid definitely not playing well right now, you know, but you they're never know. Lucky, they, they, bro, they are squeeze. extremely lucky, but yeah, just say, give them the benefit of the doubt. They might squeeze past this team, but I think Bayern going to go to over Lazio as well. I don't know, Bayern over Lazio, for sure, for sure, for sure. Bayern, as it relates, I, I'm not going to say Bayern is the best team in the competition, but I guess at the moment, they're well, in the best football. Mm -hmm. At the moment, they are playing. But Mark, have you take a look at the Europa League draw? Yeah, I'm going to look at the Europa League draw shortly. I'm going to look at the Europa League draw shortly. 
But what I want you to do from before a transition to the Europa League, um, who do you think will, will go all the way this season from the Champions League? Who do you from think? the Champions League and, and, and win it? Yeah, I want, listen, I want two things. I want, who do you think is a favorite, not the favorite, I don't want to go with this favorite title. Who do you think will win the Champions League and who do you think is a dark horse in this Champions League? What do you think would be right. a surprise team? For me, for me, the dark horse in um, the Champions League this season, it's Real Madrid and Barcelona. Those two teams are the dark horse. Because yeah, Real Madrid and Barca are dark horses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm going to tell you why I said that. Those, t- those teams are powerhouse teams, yes. Yeah, traditional powerhouse but, but they're not playing well. Yeah, they really have been um, a warm time now. Bro, the, the, the scope they, thing, they, they, the scope they, thing has changed the, well. the landscape of football totally as it relates to, um, to, to, to the top teams, to the favourites, dominating for whatever reason, I don't know. But this um, um, powerhouse teams, the dominant mm-hmm. team, the top teams, the favourites, they are not really performing no. as but you the team, expect the team, them. My favorite for win this Champions League though is Atletico Madrid. You think Atletico will go all the way? Yeah. And I, I think I think I think this year is Atletico year. Ah, uh, it's it's not a bad bet. It's not a bad bet. In all honesty, it's not a bad bet. It's not a bad bet. Um. So you, you think a Real Madrid or a Barca are going to be the dark horse and an Athletic victory? Atletico yes. will win. Um, for me personally, a dark horse, I, I would want to say Sevilla. Mm-hmm. I would say Sevilla as a dark horse. Now, as a winner, bro, listen, man. Honestly, this is this Champions League, it is so unpredictable. And not, unpre- not only unpredictable, um, the quality of the teams, you might have good players, but as it relates to being dominant, it's not so much. It's not good. Not good. No, no. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it and it's hard to pick a winner. I am, to pick the dark horse, yes, I'm looking at Sevilla as a dark horse, but for a winner for the Champions League, I'm looking at it, bro. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at a Barca. I'm looking at a Real Madrid. I'm wondering, can these teams turn their seasons around and be a dominant force? I'm not certain. But you know who I think is going to surprise many person? Yeah. And as, as much as it hurts me to pick that side. Oh, Man City? I think Man City is going far too time, bro. I don't know why, man. I don't know why. Well, I don't well, know why. That that Man wouldn't City. be so that that wouldn't surprise him to me at all because ever since Pep leave Barcelona, he has never won, uh, win the Champions Man League City. since he leave um, Barcelona. And this is a cup that everywhere Pep go, he's hungry. For it. Bro, listen, for whatever reason, the, 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 the Premier League right now, you know, the Premier League right now is not as important. As the champions, part, you know, right? I, I know he wants the a Champions, champions League. league is what he, he, he really wants, and I'm telling you this: if he get the Champions League at City this year, don't be surprised if he leave next season. I won't be surprised. I won't be surprised. He's not such a coach where he like to take a new challenge. Yeah, I won't be surprised. He, he could come to, he could go to Manchester United. That would be a good move. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not gonna go, go man you. But but uh, in all honesty be- though, bro, listen, I'm gonna say a couple of things, right? I'm gonna say a couple of things. Pep did something against Manchester United that generally he would not have done last year or the year before or a few years ago, where he sacrificed his attack to be a bit more solid in the midfield to protect his team from the counter. And if Pep is, is getting to be a little bit more pragmatic, right, then they have a greater chance of winning the, the Champions League. If he's sacrificing, because, listen, man, just like Arteta, who 
has a huge ego and would actually sacrifice his team for his style of play. If Pep is not willing to sacrifice his style of play, right, for the team, he can win the Champions League. If he's willing to realize that, hey, guess what? I cannot go out and play every team, gun ho, gun ho, gun ho, going out, score, out, score, out, score, and realize that sometimes I need to sit back, contain teams, and now I'm going to hit them on the counter. Bro, listen, man. He, he, he could take this one on yeah, the way for this one. Yeah, Pep, 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 is, Pep is that good. Um, he, Pep surely can, can coach his way out and, and, and take this Champions League. He can do that. Yeah, he, he, uh, listen, I, I really do believe. I am, I'm, I'm going to do a couple of more shows about the Champions League because I need to get... I'm probably I'm going to invite him and up again, you know, Joe. Where we have probably about four or five. And huh? you know what? Uh, you know why I think Pep um, probably feel since he has left Barcelona in Europe. Well, right. Pep, he's a philosopher. So Pep has one way how he's going to play, and no matter what, he's not going to. Sacrifices playing style for a team. It have to work for it, and it has to work, right? But as you said, as you said just now, Pep becoming that coach, um, where pragmatic coach he decided to sacrifice to, to uh, sacrifice his way of playing to get the result. That he won, you know. Yeah, no, but if you said no you result see, to you that 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 sacrifice, him. then these teams they're going to have because listen, bro, they have a very good team, and I mean at every position they have a very good team. They have a very good keeper. They have a good centre backs so now because look at the centre back position. That is where his weakness was. Where you have all right, they went out and they got Adias. You have a Laporte there and Stone. He's now playing himself back yeah. into the team. Yeah. But John Stone is good right now. I would take John Stone at Manu any day. John Stone is better than our two center half. Yes. So listen, if there, if 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 you have, if you are now solidifying the center back positions, right? And if you could get a Mendy to play, and we even know with a counselor, a counselor who is playing down the left side and a Walker is playing down the right side. I know you solidify your midfield with a Fernandino and a Rodri. And then you, you you play like a four two three one where now you you send a what's his name a De Bruyne to play that number ten position, and then you go down the left or right with a with a Torres or a Torres I, a Mares I, Torres I think I think no no Mares Mares need to sit down and watch Torres play you see maybe right maybe. now he needs to play. In, Torres, Torres, Sterling, and Aguero are just us. No, he's he he coming back. Just us is deadly, you know. No, he's good, um, but he's not Kun Aguero, bro. He's not no, Agu no, Aguero, 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 definitely a king. He, he's not Kun Aguero. And the thing is, so if you could get this Man City side to pick, bro, and listen, they are going to get better. They are I'm, I'm guaranteeing you, bro, they are going to get better. Yep. And if you could get this side to click and a focused Manchester United, a motivated Pep, a more pragmatic Pep, who is willing to sacrifice his style for results, they could go all the way. And I'm thinking yeah. that for this yeah. one, Pep might go all the way. So, CP at the darkers and Pep is... I don't want to say Pep, man. It's Man City. Why am I saying Pep? Um, man City... For the Champions League final, bro, win, winning that Champions League final. So for me, right now as we speak, I'm on tape. <laughs> so you can go back to this tape, bro. Yes, I'm on tape. So that is it for for the Champions League. So you have it as a um who, who who's the winner again for you? Who? Ah. Uh? Oh, the winner for you? Who is the winner again? Uh, Atletico. Oh, Atletico and the dark horse is the one of the. The Spain teams, Madrid or um, Barca. All right, uh, Barca. For me. Yeah. And for me, you have uh, Sevilla being the dark horse and a Real Madrid being the. Not Real Madrid. Why am I saying Real Madrid? Come on. And uh, a Man City. 
Man City yeah, going Man City. That is my thinking. Yeah. That is my thinking as we speak. 